Alright guys, how's it going? And I have for you a video about updating BES 2021 to the new season 21-22 via option file this time. Via option file and still use a cider for mods guys. And this is obviously for PC only because we are talking about a cider. Although we can load option files on the consoles as well. So I want to do this because we, as we wait for eFootball in a few days, uh, that's going to be just nine teams and playing online. According to Konami, there will be some waves of, uh, you know, introduction with the game, but nothing is going to come on the way of Master League until they put out a DCL, uh, I'm sorry, DLC, and I don't know when that's going to be. So here uh, is something I got from their website. A couple of three questions and answers. When will more teams be available to use? Or then the nine already included at launch. It says more, many more authentic teams will be added in the upcoming autumn date. Okay. Uh, the next question is, is there an edit mode? And they say, and we plan to add edit mode functionality as a free update for consoles and PC. This is good news. Stay tuned. And the last one, when will Master League will be added to eat football? So he's saying offline modes such as the Master League will be available as an additional downloadable content in the future. Please stay tuned for further detail. So this is why until then we want to play some offline and I have this. So we're going to do this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to on it install the game. So do that first and we're going to clean out the folder. So I'm going into the Komani folders um, where I have my season update and you got some files there. I'm going to clear this whole thing. And remember, there is a um, this is where we usually had the web base folder and the data folder, uh, the safe file with the long number there. I'm deleting everything else. We're going to reload this stuff because we want to make sure we have the latest version and latest update through Steam. So this is just a clean folder that I'm leaving with that number there and we already uninstall it. Now we're going to reinstall the game and uh, just go through the motions here. You know, you put it where you, wherever you want. Um, I usually have it on my D drive. Um, and the reason I'm going this route, it doesn't take that long. You know, you can do this in less than an hour, this whole thing, but it's a, it's cleaner and you're, you know, I don't want to leave any files hanging out there. So you're going to continue with your loading here, um, and complete your reinstall, you know, pick all, all the options you need. You've done this before, but I want to capture a couple of things. Um, and, and what I'm saying it too, is that. We want to make sure that there were not loose ends uh, after we remove the patch. If you had a patch, you remove the patch and then uninstall the game. So I'm gonna. That's what I did. I removed the uh, the option. I mean the uh, the patch that I have from Smoke Patch, and I'm reloading as an option file. Okay. So this is where you you see that within the installation, I can set specs for the how I'm gonna look my. Um, my controller how the controller is going to work because there is an alternate way and there is the classic way for pes 21 and after you do the option file you're going to see that you're going to have to redo this these steps again but just follow what i'm doing here okay so i'm checking that the game works as originally intended so i'll be i have edited the video just to show some relevant parts and take you step through step without taking too long a video. Uh, so here it is, it's working fine. It's version 1.07, data pack seven, which was the latest one that was there on Steam. So we're good, we're gonna pick our languages, etc. So go through, like I'm saying here, all the same setup. Um, and you see that you will go through this again, like I said, you're gonna go through these steps, but nothing wrong with that, okay? On uh, the system settings, I want to highlight that I did have the Arsenal squad theme settings, um, but in reality, you want to be on default because it, for any mod, many mod that you're going to put in, you want to make sure that you have it on the default. 
Okay, so let's check how this even looks. We should have only the license teams. And uh, I'd like to go step by step to check this out. So system settings and team settings, you know, okay. Like, yeah, let me just make sure that I have it on default. And we're gonna check out that you see that emblems and all the teams, etc. they are not the latest. And it's a shame because, you know, that's why we depend so much on the mods and everything else. So, um, so let's look a couple of menus here. Um, obviously you're going to go through this that tells you if you want to update we are online because I downloaded the game as originally intended so um, but you see you know all these emblems are missing so I this is why obviously we put the option file okay so moving on um, I'll have the option file um, material in the description box with a link and you can use it uh, I'll give you the details there and so you're going to extract this and once you open it you see that there will be this top file but the important stuff in, inside you see all this we're just going to take this folder it's only one step you're going to take this folder and you're going to take the whole thing and bring it to where the command folder is so I'm going to copy this under documents then the Komani folder there's all my gains going to yours and you see the web is empty because we haven't loaded anything yet there's settings and there's the long number folder and this is the file that you're going to replace or the folder that you're going to replace so that save file so we're going to paste our new save file that we got through the option file and it's going to load I'm going to let it run here and then uh, make sure to accelerate through. So this is what's going to load all the kits, all the, uh, the appearances, um, all the emblems, etc. So when it's done, you see that it's going to take its place here and it's got a bunch of material. So it's, it's quite, quite a number of, of files in there. So... Um, Am I done? Yeah, I got the webbies still there and the settings there. Just leave it as it is. And uh, I think I need to replace a couple. Yeah, I'm going to say replace. If there are any files that needed to be replaced over the other ones, that will happen. Okay, so now I'm going to open it again to make sure that the option file, I'm not going into the cider yet. I'm opening just the option file. So I'm opening the game that is online. And you can, you know, you can stop here. You don't want to use a... Uh, a cider you don't have to use the cider so uh, but I had a cider and I wanted to keep all the stadiums and everything else so I'm checking what happened after I loaded my option file and just want to make sure that all the team emblems are there and you see that updated all these that's pretty cool because it's updating the leagues with the up you know with the new teams that were promoted etc and um, you'll see that I'll put in the description box um, all the teams that um, and the leagues that are included in the option file. Now I'm checking Manchester United and you see we got Sancho there, we got Cristiano Ronaldo, um, who else that came on, on board? Varane came from Madrid, uh, so they are they are in this list. So this is all updated with the new rosters. This is includes all the new transfers. Um, obviously, they're not perfect. If there is one hanging out there that you discovered that wasn't transferred, then you can do it yourself with using the player transfer. But for most, this is updated to version 21-22 season. So, and all the kits and uniforms were updated as well for any of these leaks that we're reviewing. So I wanna, I wanna check a couple of other teams, but I see that this is, this is looking good over here. Um, I think I'm gonna check, let me see what thing I wrote down here. <clears throat> okay, um, let me check La Liga, yeah. 
I'm going to check on the Liga. Let me see what uh, Atletico Madrid. They have Suarez still there. Oh, De Paul. De Paul. Uh, they got Cunha. Uh, yes, that's correct. And uh, in Barcelona, they have uh, Luke De Jong. They got De Pai. Or, um, Pedri, of course. Eric Garcia. All those are updated there. So, and they don't have, obviously, they don't have Messi uh, or Griezmann. And I saw, yeah, I saw that Atletico Madrid also had Griezmann already. So that's good. That's updated there. And let me check one more thing because I want to check to see if they caught Camavinga, which was traded at the last um, day of the, uh, of the trademark uh, with Madrid. But yeah, obviously, David Alaba is still here. That's great, and they got. I mean, they got two others. I'm not seeing here, um, but this is pretty updated roster, uh, plus a few other guys. So let me just see if I can get out. Uh, I need to look at those other two. I think if I can get in the game plan, maybe I can, I can see the entire set. Oh, and look at this. They still has Sidan. They didn't see Dan. That's a mess. Obviously, because, but let me get in the game plan. I want to check to see if we got Kamavinga. So let me look down here. And there it is. Oh, cool. So we got Kamavinga. Very awesome. So, and Sinedine Sidan, you know, there's a way that you can change the manager. This is up here. This, this one is editable. So we can load. See, you can put your own name and you can change the nationality and create image. You can load an image for Carlo Ancelotti. So um, you could do that, I'm, I'm, which I'm going to be doing anyways. I'm not going to show it here, but let me know if you have any questions about doing that. All right. So let's talk about the cider. I had the cider in place. So nothing else should have changed. I didn't touch anything with my cider, so I'm just gonna run it and see if it will initiate the game. And so far, so good. I hope it doesn't stay black. And here it is, it's coming back with Cristiano Ronaldo menu. Very cool, so it's kicking in. This is why I like to work my mods, if I can, just through the cider. Because if I wanna change my patch, I can do it. I can put an option file, I can do it, but then all my mods, I can still run it when I initiate the CIDR to run the game through the CIDR, which also blocks the network access, which is what you're seeing here, see? And you don't want to have that running online for the offline modes that we're going to do with the CIDR. So let's see how this looks, and yeah, you see the, the new, uh, I want to check here is that the CIDR interface is working. So I'm gonna hit space bar and see if it comes through. And there it is, it's working. CIDR 7.1.2. So I'm going to the stadium server, which is the main reason I have the CIDR. And I definitely can go through the manual selection of, of all the stadiums, that's pretty cool. All right. So let me just, Four kicks, I selected La Cartuja. And it looks good. It looks like it's uh, it's working. Looks beautiful. And uh, guys, this is looking very nice. Look at the new uniform, visitor uniform for Atletico Madrid. I, not, I don't necessarily like it, but they only did the front. How did they do this? I thought they, that connected with the back, you know, that smush thing in the front of the uh, the jersey. Well, anyways, uh, here's the gameplay, and I noticing that it's super slow. Why is it so slow? So I'm going back and I'm gonna check the settings that I have for this game. Uh, let me check the game speed settings. Oh, sure enough, yeah, the game speed is minus two. I don't know for what, re why it was like that. But if you notice things like that, you go ahead and, and you can open those settings. And that's, that's the reason I left this section here. And 
and we get back to business with the right speed. Although I'm noticing also that my controller settings is not exactly what I wanted. I should have uh, done a tackle there that I wanted to do and it didn't, but anyways. So let me go to settings here. Um, system settings, languages. I wanna see is something that I had in the, CP, the live CP, CPK folder within my cider is working. So languages is one of those things. And can I select languages and it will speak Spanish in this case. So I'm going down here and there we are, it's working. So the light CPK folder within the cider is working as well. I'm pretty happy about this. Uh, so there you have it guys. Updated for season 21-22 with all the kits, with the leagues, etc. And you can apply that part, you can apply and and enjoy, you know, Master League, etc. Until we get it with the eFootball. Until the next one, guys, let me know if you have any questions.